people, hello people, hello people, and welcome to yet another edition of Quake! Shooting things, making them die, suffer in torturous evil ways, and the destruction of humanity itself. Wait, that's not good. Um, but in any event, that's what today's goal is, to murder a bunch of things in um, a very extortionate way. Um, why? Because today we're playing E1M3, a level very well known in Quake, because it's basically the level we see every time we load up Quake. Yeah, it's that first demo, so, yeah, it's very, very well known. If you play the game, you know what E1M3 is. Um, also known as the Necropolis. And also, we had finished last time E1M2, another significant level, especially if you're a deathmatcher. And also another important thing to mention about that level is the fact that they introduced a lot of creatures to us that we'll be seeing throughout the rest of this game. So yeah, very, very important levels that we're seeing around this time. Um, very good historical stuff. Yeah! Anyway, with that in mind, I don't really have anything else to get to, so let's load it up and start going. Actually, while it's loading up, I should say one more thing. And that specifically is that there is a bit of a... A glitch. Should you say, I'm not sure if it affects just 0.91 or if it was in a few versions, we'll see as we go along. But right now, there's a certain weird glitch that occurs. Because of the style I do this in, whereby I save the game to reload, what I believe has ended up happening is that the game gets broken on a reload after you've saved and exited the game. Um, that's why we've seen, like, every level when we started up, like, E1M1, E1M2, were, like, very, very strange or broken things. And we ended up having to, like, play through the level, then realize what was going on, we went back and kind of fixed it up. But, yeah, it's basically a fact that mattered that because you saved and then exited the game, it messes it up. And what ends up happening is it also gives you... Um, a grenade launcher and a super shotgun. Well, no, 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 a grenade launcher and a super nail gun. Yeah, I don't know why it does any of that. But in any event, it makes the entire game broken because you saved and then reloaded. It, like, totally breaks everything. Yeah. Um, this is what I get, you get for playing the oldest version of this game. I guess they hadn't really ironed out the bugs, otherwise why would there be a bunch of other versions? Um, so yeah. Makes sense, but... <laughs> sure it's unstable. I mean, yo, all we're doing is editing levels, reloading them up so that way we can continue where we left off, and that's apparently caused a massive disaster. Not to mention the fact that, Mary, that you know, the resolution isn't really, like... Um, another thing I've noticed is the resolutions. I can't do, like, any visa support modes. Um, just because if I try to, it ends up with massive lag. I don't believe that's any fault of mine at all. I can handle definitely anything. Um, and I don't even believe it's really DOSBox. If I had to blame anything, I'd just say it's the optimization of this particular release. I really want to say that 0 0.91 was just a very unoptimized version for in terms of, like, trying to get it to run. And because of that, really, we have to play in these little tiny windows. I don't think the other versions, the Visa versions, were really supported. It was like these uh, tiny ones were really the ones that were intended to be running. Like, these were the ones that were generally, like, the ones that you were supposed to play on. So, yeah, these ones all work fine, but... This is really the only thing that really changes is the scale of the HUD or just absolute whooping. Yeah, because it's all weird, arbitrary resolutions. Anyway, I've been rambling for long enough. Let's actually get to the game. Oh, look at that. Looking up and down is actually messing up the character. That's hilarious. I can mouse look with him. Wow. Look at that. I would think I can mouse look with the guy. I can zoom with him too. I can't make him shoot or jump. But I can make him do other things. Like I said, I can make him mouse look and I can make him zoom in and out. Which is interesting to say the least. So, let's load up the Necropolis. 
weapons. That's where we are. As you see, there's the glitch I'm talking about. We're not supposed to have these two guns. Just like last time we weren't. But, once again, we've been ripped off and have them. God. And also we have some freaking zombies. We also have the 90 health glitch. Like, every time this happens, it also is that we get 90 health for some reason. And I bet everything is now a zombie head. Or a zombie in some fashion. Hooray! Extra control zombies! Wait a minute, what the? There are fiends everywhere! Okay, at least things are working so far. This is a lot worse than the demo was! Like, there weren't fiends in the demo! Why are they here? Okay, so we can officially use the grenade launcher as we picked it up, but we cannot use the super nail gun. We have yet to find one. So remember that, people. Okay, so we have to keep that type of detail in mind since they can't do it for us. Wait, what the? This ain't solid. Really? Uh. Oh, dear God, what's this about? What's this about? What is this? What is this thing? Okay, there's a blo block on the door. Right there. Oh god, it's the foreign crackheads of death! There's Shambler that's gonna shoot us to that too! Okay, let's just die, so we... Now we're doing terrible, like, we have no ammo and we have to do this all from pistol shotgun to start. But that's what we're gonna have to do for a lot of these, because, you know... It kind of stinks, but we otherwise glitch out, as you see. That's basically my theory. So instead, we'll do it break style. Oh yeah, that's right, we don't have a double barrel shotgun. I should make this interesting. No double barrel shotgun for me, just grenade launchers. Yeah, that didn't go too well at all. You got a really like tiny explosion. No man use like a double barrel shotgun for this, but you know, we don't have one. There we are, one finished off. I also can't use the mouse wheel to switch weapons, so decided to list the features of things that I can't do. Watch as I need to be conservative probably with shotgun shells in order to kill the zombies. I mean rockets. You know what I'm trying to say. Right. Bunch of fiends dead? Time to kill Mr. I like to blow up people with grenades. If I stand back here, he can't shoot me! Hooray for your weakness! I like that guy's weakness. It's pretty easy to exploit to beat. Now that we have a grenade launcher, though, that means we can also deal with these threats a lot more. Oh, God! That was bouncing for somewhere else. That's strange. Owie! I like it when they keep shooting the wall and not, you know, trying to kill me at all. Like, they can get... I like double barreled shotguns, too! They can get closer, but, you know, that's too easy. He's still not dead for some reason. I I think he takes like one more shot. There he is. Excuse me! Okay, where is he? Come on. God, this is gonna be a painful level. Just gotta fight our way to victory! One enemy at a time! It definitely gets a lot harder when you do shotgun start every level. Oh yeah, I forgot about that ogre. Whoopsie! Yeah, but things are getting a lot more lethal this time around, but then again, that should be expected. I'm used to break. 
So it's not like it's a newbie playing this. It's somebody who's used to Quake and therefore needs a challenge like this to make it more interesting. Shotgun start. Oh god, I didn't kill either of these guys. Yeah, it worked. At least we're still alive. Now we just need to get rid of this guy. Mr. I like to blow up everyone McGee over here. What type of terrible person are you that you like to blow up everyone? Also, this way is a nail gun. So, of course, that gets blocked off. Maybe I should come down this way and get the nails. Really, we kind of need to go like both ways around here and get the different guns. Can't go back yet. And now we have a superpowered shamble after me. Well, this is gonna be fun. Plus, you have a double-barreled shotgun. I just feel like every gun I ever want is not around when I need it. I got it, you big giant beast! For me, I thought the shamble was dead. Wouldn't that have been nice? But no. Me versus the giant freak. Yeah, you just basically walk back and forth, back and forth. And eventually he dies. Boy, you die. Yay! One dead shambler. No! <laughs> and yeah, rockets are kind of weak against him. So I'm going to actually retreat. Because he can't get back out. And I could use that double-barreled shotgun. Oh, hi there! Not the best way to show up somewhere. Catch! That worked perfectly! My shotgun! There's at least one more gun with which I can kill things. Why did I run right to the grenade? Like, I saw the grenade on the ground, and I ran right at it. Why? Not sure. Like, could you guys monster in fight or something? Like, you normally know you're supposed to monster in fight. But these guys don't really want to. Like, normally I can get the ogre to in fight with the fiends. But, you know, they don't really seem to care, this version. They just want to, you know, try and murder me. It's a bit interesting. They're actually more intelligent in this version. They'll try and murder each other compared to later versions. Whereby they're more likely to infight each other. Like I said, you can't really rely on cheap tactics in this version. It's really, like... A lot more of a challenging game in a way. Because now I have to do suddenly shotgun start. It's no cheap tactics, nothing. You have to fight legitimate and beat these guys in a very tough battle. It's nice in a way. Look at stuff like that. Double barreled shotguns useful. I'll need the nail gun for this side right now. Get back. That seemed to work better than running forward. See ya. That didn't really work. It's only going to take like one more shot. Thank you, free rocket ammo. So we still have some zombies around the area, but we also have Mr. I like to play around. Yay! Infighting to the stream. Ahoy! There we are! That's how you angle 
your grenade shots to work where you want them to work. Ow! Where in the kisser? Okay, now if we jump over there, we can get two free rockets. Of course, instead I fell down to my painful area. Okay, I don't think there's anything around here to worry about. Instead, we get free rockets. What a great reward for assets you call like. And some well needed armor. Seriously, without armor, you die so much quicker in Quake. And because the shotgun starts, that's what we need to do a lot. It makes for a painful combination. You wise guy zombies, you're just sitting there. Oh, they're just gonna keep falling over and over. Really? I'm just gonna blow them up manually then. That works better. When in doubt, blow up everything. Actually, a good solution for life. When in doubt, just blow up everything. Anyway, before we head further down, let's actually head out this way, because they meet up. Now we're gonna have another gun. More guns means more fun, right? Plus, we get more explosives. And the Scrags would attack us from above, and I like to have a nail gun, so... Good rational we use that, at least. Owie! One scrag down? Come on, we need a bunch of dead scrags. Wanna play cheap shot with me? I think I won that game. Oh great, now we got Mr. I like to blow up everything. You know, we probably should actually be more willing to spend resources because, you know, it only lasts one level to one level, but... For some reason, I think, let's be conservative! And then, you know, it bites me in the butt. I love this repetition of ducking and shooting. Eventually the Shambler will die. And here comes second Shambler. It's awesome how there's like that weird delay, so it's like, I'm out of the woods! Oh surprise! Here's the second Shambler! It's like it's software knew what they were doing with that. So that's two dead shamblers right next to each other. What a great way to introduce a monster to us. With absolute pain! Okay, where is the scrag? I hear him. You shoot at me. I don't see him. Let's run around and hope he doesn't hit us. I see him! If you see him, you can kill him. If you see him, you can kill him. If it bleeds, you can kill him also. You walk down here, you can kill him. I just like to kill people. Okay, we need to get the gold key, which means drop it down below. Which means more dead! Let's get some free health down here. That way we're not about to die. Yes, there's another zombie down there. I don't care at the moment. Because we have these zombies. I love it when you totally miss. Around here you can swim in the water and get a little ring. This will allow you to hide from enemies. The for fact that there's not many things to really hide from. Ah well. Let's run around and look for zombies to blow up. I hear a moment zombie. But where is he? Like, there's a million zombies somewhere in the map. I'm 
I'm not really seeing him. I'm hoping he's further ahead and it's just sound traveling. Ow! Well, that hurt. Oh no, a trap! Luckily, I know how to avoid it! Well, ever dead? 39 out of 65, my god, this is brutal. But now we're in the 40s at least. Any more zombies? Any more zombies? Okay, get rid of the big threat, the ogre. You can bounce down this ramp and kill me. Die! One more giblet for the record. And that's also how you get back. So if we need to end up going back because we missed an enemy because... I'm almost wondering if something glitched out. That's how we do it. Oh god, two ogres! Okay, so we got rid of both of them, luckily. And let's press this button. Very conspicuous button that allows for more zombies! Which in turn allows for more gimmitudes. A reward for that was more nail gun ammo. Be useful in killing stuff. We also need more everything, really. We need more ammo. Let's see here. We still have a few enemies we need to kill. I'm curious almost if, because I think we are, we're missing an ogre that's supposed to be around back here. Like when, on our return journey, we were supposed to have seen an ogre. Like there he is! What did I say? I'm glad we returned this way and checked that out. I don't know how we missed him the first time. I wonder if I miss him. Not really sure, but yeah, it's good I have this memory of that type of stuff. Because look at that, now we have that prepared and can move forward. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We just need to make it through the final few areas. Can we do that and not die? Probably not. Well, you sure will try. Okay, being done. You just keep shooting at me. I bet it'll work out for you eventually. Sure, just keep doing that, yeah. I'm proud of you. That strategy was definitely solid. Before we go there, we of course have to get this yellow armor. It would be a fool not to pick up the yellow armor. Oh, fell off. I have to like jump across so you can get the rockets. But after all, we need the rockets to kill everything we can. Why? Because we have a final area to deal with. Absolute pain up ahead. Oh no, we're about to be crushed! Oh wait, no we're not! Aha! Nice trick on its part. Now let's see, can we deal with these fiends? Gulp. We killed two these two fiends, more spawn. Hope you're watching your backside because yeah. You kill one, another one lays that spawn, so. Oh god, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm touched! Shoot, 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 shoot! Move! <laughs> just keep moving, just keep moving. My god. Okay, one fell down the hole at least. That will give me a bit more management. That didn't work out too well for me. Yeah! I really don't want to... Phew! Okay, that definitely made you sweat. Well, made me sweat, should I say. Is there a fiend down there? 
We're gonna chuck down another one. When we're ready, there's gonna be a shamble that appears that we're gonna have to kill as well. And that means there's one more enemy that probably had zombie we heard. Great. You just don't wanna die, do you? We're gonna die! We're gonna die out here! Okay. Good news? We got through that. Bad news? Wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I looked at the counter before we killed the fiend. Now, normally, rationally, the best thing to do would be to go get health. But, Quake has a nice thing whereby you start the next level with 50 health. And, I can actually abuse something that's been uh, you know, going on the entire time. Because of the fact that, Mara, that I'm pretty much almost guaranteed to get the glitch that time around. Eh, you know what? I, I don't want to be cheap like that. Let's go back and go get health. I mean, it's not that hard to get health. So, why not go back and get just in case. It turns out that it doesn't pull the glitch on me. That one time, all of a sudden, it turns out that, well, I kind of needed health. Oh, haha, -ha, you actually started with, yo, know, only 50 health now. See, now we'll have 55. That means we'll be slightly less likely to die, right? We'll have a uh, slightly higher chance of not dying. Hey, 5% health can always m mean the difference between life and death. 80% will really make it, though. And a hundred? Why, that's just ludicrous. And this is why you always go back to the beginning and gather health packs at the end. Because you can't carry them with you, so you might as well use them. But yeah, <laughs> definitely interesting trying to play all this, like I said, with the limitations I'm kind of imposing on myself with this. You know, it doesn't play as smoothly as GL Quake, that's for sure. And that's what I'm used to. So, yeah. Anyway, the problem is, how do we get back up there? Luckily, this one, so we can get back up there. But yeah, with the limitations opposed on me, it makes it a lot rougher. But luckily, I'm a Quake player, and I know how to play the game. So, with a little bit of, you know, persistence and figuring out how to, like, best do things, we can make it through these levels. Anyway, well then, Mike, thank you very much all for watching. I shall see you all next time. Well, actually, I probably should say it after I've saved and all that. Okay. And if you look straight ahead, you'll recognize this as the second demo! Yeah, they basically played the demos in the two-level order there. The Grizzly Grotto, the second demo. So, yeah, we'll be going from one demo level to the second demo level. Anyway, well then, mine, thank you very much all for watching. It has been a painful, painful adventure. And I shall see you all next time.